What's up guys? Welcome back to Horsepower and Pizza. Today I am doing the front brakes on my 2014 BMW 435i. It's the F3X generation. It's an F32. I already did a video on the rears which I will link right up top here and let's get into it. You're gonna start by taking the five lugs off with the 17 millimeter. My car is not an M Sport car, but it does happen to have the Brembo fronts. So there are two pins, one is here, one is here. Take a punch and a hammer. Something a little longer, skinny screwdriver will do the trick. And then you should be able to wiggle them and pull from the back. This is honestly the most frustrating part of the whole job. Once you get these pins started out, I'm having a hard time getting them out while the caliper is still in there. You're going to need an 18 millimeter socket. There are two bolts that hold the caliper to the back of the front knuckle. Top one's kind of tight to get onto, but once you're on it, So once you pull those bolts out, I put the jack under here because the caliper is a little heavy to just let it dangle by the brake line. So that'll give it some added support. Now you should be able to pull those pins the rest of the way out. They might still wanna fight you a little bit, but it's part of the game, I guess. You might have to move the pads around a little bit. Those pins will pull out. Pads should fall right out. This angled spring retainer, keep that because you're gonna need it. Old pads are out. This is the passenger side, so it doesn't have the brake wire sensor. That is on the driver's side, but that would clip into right here before you put the pads back in the caliper. Before I do anything else with the caliper or the new pads, you need a six millimeter hex bit to take off the set screw that locks the rotor to the hub. Sometimes you need to just tap this with a hammer. So then I always just clean up my hubs with a wire brush, blow everything off with an airline before I put the new rotor on. Now your new rotors are going to come in probably a plastic bag and they're coated with a rust preventative spray called Cosmoline. Quickest way to get that off, you just take some brake cleaner. I use more than I probably should, but it works. It'll bead that oil right off, flip it over. Do the same thing on the other side. I hit the hub too. It's not gonna hurt anything. Wipe it off with a rag. Voila, there you go. Now again, before reassembly, this is that spring clip that holds the pads in. I just clean mine up real quick with a wire brush. It's just gonna get dirty again anyway, so don't get too wild with it. And then these pins, you can either clean them up with a wire brush. I usually just spray them with brake clean a little bit hit them with some steel wool clean them up just so there's not a bunch of dust and dirt caked onto them now they're good as new too now back over at the car bring the new rotor over get it up over the hub and you're going to want to take that six millimeter hex head Set screw. Place that back in. That's going to be what locates the rotor. Now before you go to put the new pads in, I like to take one of the old pads, slip it back into the caliper. They make tools to spread the pistons back apart. I generally just use an old C-clamp. If you put the old pad in there, it evenly distributes the pressure across both pistons. Press those pistons in, flip it around, do the same thing on the outside pistons. Good to go. With these Brembos, you can 
actually take the caliper, bolt it back up, which again is an 18 millimeter hex from the backside. I get the bolts started by hand before I run them on with the ratchet. Now for reassembly, I take the pins. Before I do anything, I put a little bit of brake grease in the holes that the pins slide in from the backside and a little bit more in the other hole here. You want to be very careful that you don't get grease on the rotor or the pads because that would be very counterproductive to stopping. And then I go ahead and I start the pins from the backside, but not too far through because now we have to add the pads. Sometimes it needs a little bit of love to get started in there. Go back and forth. Now the pins will start and go through. There's holes on the back sides of the pads. That's what the pins slide through. Not only is it an alignment thing, but also to just keep the pads in the caliper. Before you run the pin the whole way in, take your spring clip that goes in here on top. And this is the fun part. You have to get the pins through both of those. Make sure your pads are in the whole way so your pins will go through those tabs as well. And then they are going to need some persuasion from the back side to drive the pin the whole way through. You might have to play with the pads a little bit to get that pin to align the whole way through, but once you tap the pin in from the backside with like a small ball peen hammer or something, you'll be able to see the tip of the pin seated in the front of the caliper. Everything should spin. It's a little tight in one spot, but that'll be fine. The only thing left to do is put the wheel back on and torque the lugs to spec. So you put the wheel up, you put your lugs in in a star pattern, evenly distribute the tension on the wheel and the hub. Torque those to 98 foot-pounds and call it a day. I hope I made that easy enough for you guys to follow. Thank you guys so much for watching. For more how-tos and more 435 or E36 or just BMW content in general, please be sure to subscribe. Hit us up on Instagram at Horsepower Pizza, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, anywhere else. You can go over to www.horsepowerandpizza.com to support us. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, build it for you.